Hello, this is Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker and welcome to How to Play Barn Brawl! A game of battling livestock. A game of Barn Brawl plays from 2 to 6 players around 40 to 50 minutes for ages 14 and up. This is a learn in a turn video where you learn as the game plays. In a turn or two or as many needed. We divided this video into chapters. If you want to view a specific rule from the game, you can find the list of rules in the description below. Have a question or something nice to say? Leave a comment! And it would be a wonderful and tremendous help if you can give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks! Let's first set up the game. Place each stack of trophy cards in the middle of the play area. These will keep track of points after a brawl outcomes. Next shuffle the red barn brawl cards into one big deck and place that in the middle where all the players can reach it. Keep some room nearby for the discard pile. Have all the players sit around the table and deal out 6 cards to each of them. The area in front of each player is their barn where brawler cards will be placed. Finally give the 4 turn cards to a random player with the 1 turn card on top and ascending and they will start the game. The objective of the game is simple. Build up your team of brawlers, equip them with item cards, and send them out to become champion of the brawl and earn points. In a 5 to 6 player game, you'll need 8 points to win. In a 2 to 4 player game, you need 10 points to win. Here's the flow of the game. Each round is divided in two phases. The first is the draw and place phase, where players put down cards such as brawlers and item cards. Each player on their turn can play one each of brawler, item, and perk cards. Players take 4 turns in this part of the phase. Then each player will secretly take any number of brawlers they played to bring to the brawl phase. Points will be given out and the player with the most power will earn even more points. Here are the four players, Abigail, Billy, Clementine, and Donald. Abigail has the turn deck and she will be going first. At the beginning of a player's turn, they draw cards from the deck into their hand. Abigail plays Agar, a brawler with a power of 1. Then she plays the item card Horseshuriken and attach it to Agar. A brawler can only have one item attached to them at a time. If the brawler ever leaves play, then any items attached will be discarded. One type of item, such as the horse shuriken, can only be used during the draw and place phase. Finally, Abigail plays the perk card, just a large brick wall, which does. Until the next turn, brawlers and equipped items in your barn may not be targeted by opponent's place cards. Abigail has played all three types of cards, so the turn passes to the next player, which is Billy. Billy first draws a card and picks Pepsqueak with the power of 2, which has You may slaughter Pepsqueak immediately upon placement, and take the top card of the discard pile below Pepsqueak and put it into your hand. Billy does not do this and ends his turn. Clementine's turn is next and she draws a card. She plays Sharp Shear with a power of 2 and has Whenever Sharp Shear is the target of a slaughter or swap, you may discard two cards from your hand to negate the placement of the opponent's targeting card. Then Clementine plays the item card, Cow Pie Delivery. This is the other type of item card where it is only used when the brawler is attached to it in the brawl zone. Clementine ends her turn. Now it's Donald's turn. First a card is drawn, then they play Barn Duty. Target player loses their next turn, and uses it on Abigail. 
Then they play Tough Gruff with the power of 2 and has If any of your brawlers become the target of the opponent's place card, you may substitute Tough Gruff as the intended target instead. Donald doesn't want to play anything else and ends their turn. Now that the first turn is completed, Abigail puts the turn 1 card under the turn deck and now it's turn 2. Abigail's turn is skipped thanks to Donald's perk card and the turn goes to Billy. Billy draws a card and plays the power 3 brawler, Nugget, and attaches the beehive launcher to it. Clementine goes, she draws a card and plays Wheezing Woofers with a power of 2 and has when Wheezing Wolfers is placed into your barn, you may swap it immediately with any target opponent's brawler with a pace power of 3 or less in their barn. Clementine chooses to swap Billy's Nugget. Nugget keeps the Beehive Launcher on it when it swaps. Then Clementine plays Needle in a Haystack. Discard one card and look through the discard pile and choose a card and place it into your hand. Donald draws a card and plays Private Quackhead, then plays the item card Dirty Ho. Billy doesn't want this to happen and plays Back Off and Negate card which can be played out of turn. It does negate the placement of a card by target opponent. The negated card goes straight to the discard pile and the attempted placement counts as their action for that card type for the turn. Donald loses Dirty Ho to the discard and can't play any more item cards this turn. This turn is done and Abigail changes the card to turn 3. Abigail draws and plays Emperor Cluck that has the power of 4 and has Draw a card for every base power 1 or 2 brawlers in your barn when Emperor Cluck is placed into your barn. 1 is counted and Abigail draws 1 card. Then she uses Horse Shuriken to target Donald. Its effect, once per turn, if Horse Shuriken is equipped to a brawler in your barn during the draw in place phase, you may force a target opponent to discard a card of their choice. Donald discards a card from their hand. Billy draws a card and first plays Square Dance to try to swap back his nugget. Clementine plays Back Off and negates Square Dance's effect. Billy then plays Barrow Busting Behemoth on Hoising Wolfers. Clementine draws a card and plays Corn Sucker, but Abigail uses Back Off to try to negate it. But Clementine continues with another Back Off and negates Abigail's Back Off and cancels it. Corn Sucker continues and it does. Target player must discard two cards of their choice. Abigail is targeted for that effect. Donald draws a card and plays Double-Sided Pitchfork on Private Quackhead which does Once per turn, if Double-Sided Pitchfork is equipped to a brawler in your barn during the draw and place phase, you may discard a card out of your hand and draw a card. They go ahead and do the effect. Turn 3 is over and now it's turn 4, the final turn of the round. Abigail draws a card and plays Shell Shocker with a power of 2. It has, you may discard a card from your hand to draw a card when Shell Shocker is placed into your barn. Then she uses Horse Shuriken on Clementine once again. Billy draws a card and plays the Roasting Stick on Pepsqueak. Billy then plays the Perk card, Cluck for a Buck, discard a card and draw 3 cards. Clementine draws a card and wishes to end her turn. Donald draws a card and uses double-sided pitchfork to get a new card. Finally, they use the perk card, Busted. Slaughter target brawler's equip item and send it straight to the discard pile. Donald picks Abigail most powerful card, but Abigail uses another back off to negate it. The four turns are now done. Let's now go to the brawl phase. Before going into the brawl phase, each player settles down their hand and picks up all their brawlers in their barn. At this time, each player will decide in secret which any of their brawlers will appear in this round's brawl phase, known otherwise as the brawl zone. They must pick at least one of their brawler. If the player has no brawlers in their barn, they must discard a card. 
after secretly picking up their team, everyone counts down. Three, two, one, brawl! And all the players slam down their selected brawlers face down, taking any items they have attached to them. Place any unused cards aside for the moment as the brawlers duke it out. All participating brawlers are flipped. Now that all the players have selected their brawlers, each brawl item will now activate. Starting in turn order from the first player. Abigail doesn't have any items attached to them so Billy can activate any of his. He uses Barrow Busting Behemoth which does, in the brawl zone you may add plus one power to your brawler equipped with Barrow Buster Behemoth for each card you discard from your hand. The highest power increase you can discard up to is plus five. Billy discards four cards for this effect, and now Wheezing Wolfers has a power of six. Clementine has two items he wants to activate and does so one at a time. First with Cow Pie Delivery, which has, if Cow Pie Delivery is equipped to a brawler in your barn, during the brawl phase you may re-equip it to the target brawler of an opponent. The new brawler that has the cow pie delivery equipped becomes a base power 1. It is given to Emperor Cluck, its power is now 1. Then with Nugget, it has Beehive Launcher. It has, if Beehive Launcher is equipped to your brawler, once in the brawl zone, you may choose two target brawlers of any target opponents. The opponents chosen must discard a card or their target brawler is slaughtered. Donald's Tough Gruff and Billy's Wheezing Wolfers are selected. Both Billy and Donald have enough cards to pay so the effect doesn't take on. Lastly, Donald doesn't have any items to use. Now that all the items have a chance to be used, it's now time to see who won this brawl phase. Add up each power of each team in the brawl zone. Abigail has 2, Billy has 6, Clementine has 5, and Donald has 2. With that, looks like Billy is the winner! Pass out some trophies! Since there's a tie with Abigail and Donald, they both draw from the top of the deck until they have a brawler. The player with the more powerful brawler wins! All cards used in the tiebreaker are discarded. Abigail wins this tiebreaker and gains the 1 point trophy. Then Clementine gets the 2 point trophy and Billy the winner of the brawl gets the 3 point trophy. When the results are in, it's time to move into the new round. All brawlers along with their items are discarded. Return the unused brawlers and their items back to their player's barn. Players now draw cards. The first place winner, Billy, will draw 0 cards, then Clementine, who is in second place, draws 1 card. Abigail came out in third and draws 2 cards. All other players draw 3 cards. Since Billy won the round, he gets the turn deck and the new round starts with him. There are a few notes I'd like to point out before you go. First, your barn can only fit up to 4 brawlers. Once you have your 5th, choose a brawler along with any item attached to it and discard it. Your max hand size is 10. Remember the way to win is to reach a certain number of points. 8 in a 5 to 6 player game and 10 in the 2 to 4 player game. This concludes the how to play video to Barn Brawl. For more information about this game, please check out EpicPortalGames.com. The Cardboard Stacker likes to thank the designer of the game for sponsoring this video. And I'd like to thank you for watching. For more videos like these, including how to plays and playthroughs, come visit the Cardboard Stacker on YouTube and at our website, thecardboardstacker.com. Thanks again, and as always, I am here to remind you to keep on stacking games.